But I'm into immersion, because how'd you learn language? You didn't learn it by just learning principles. You got in it and you did it so often that it became real. And the bottom line of why I'm here, besides being crazy mofo, is that I'm really in a position, I'm not here to motivate you, obviously. You don't need that. And a lot of times that's what people think I do. And it's the furthest thing from it. Um, what happens though is people say to me, well, I don't need any motivation. And I say, well, that's interesting. That's not what I do. I'm the why guy. I don't know why you do what you do. What is your motive for action? What is it that drives you in your life today, not 10 years ago, or are you running the same pattern? Because I believe that the invisible force of internal drive activated is the most important thing in the world. I'm here because I believe emotion is the force of life. All of us here have great minds. You know, most of us here have great minds, right? I don't know if I'm in the category, but we all know how to think. And with our minds, we can rationalize anything, we can make anything happen. We can, uh, I agree with what was described a few days ago about this idea that people work in their self-interest, but we all know that that's bullshit at times. You don't work in your self-interest all the time. Because when emotion comes into it, the wiring changes in the way it functions. And so it's wonderful for us to think intellectually about how the life of the world is, and especially those who are very smart. We can play this game in our head, but I really want to know what's driving you. If you ask people, why didn't you achieve something? Somebody who's working for you, you know, or a partner, or even yourself, and you fail to achieve a goal, what's the reason people say they failed to achieve? What do they tell you? Don't have the, didn't know enough, didn't have the knowledge, didn't have the money, didn't have the time, didn't have the technology you know I didn't have the right manager what do all those including the Supreme Court have in common they are a claim to you missing resources and they may be accurate you may not have the money you may not have the Supreme Court so the bottom line is maybe it was where to go to work and you met the love of your life there maybe it was a career decision I know the Google geniuses I saw here I mean I understand that their decision was to sell their technology at first what if they made that decision versus to build their own culture how would the world be different how would their lives be different their impact the history of our world is these decisions. When a woman stands up and says, no, I won't go to the back of the bus, she didn't just affect her life. That decision shaped our culture. Or someone standing in front of a tank. Or being in a position like Lance Armstrong and someone says to you, you've got testicular cancer. That's pretty tough for any male, especially if you ride a bike. So what shaped Lance, what shapes you? Two invisible forces, very quickly. One, state. We all have had times. Have you had a time you did something and after you did it, you thought to yourself, I can't believe I said that, I can't believe I did that. Avoid pain, at least be comfortable. Now, how do you get it? Control everybody, develop a skill, give up, smoke a cigarette. And if you got totally certain, ironically, even though we all need that, like if you're not certain about your health or your children or money, you don't think about much more. You're not sure the ceiling's gonna hold up, you're gonna listen to any speaker. But while we go for certainty differently, if we get total certainty, we get what? What do you feel if you're certain? You know what's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, how it's gonna happen, what would you feel? Bullshit, you like the surprises you want. Get a fucking life. Why are you doing it? You're certain it's good because you read it before, saw it before, but you're hoping it's been long enough you've forgotten that there's variety. Third human need, critical, significance. We all need to feel important, special, unique. You can get it by making more money. You can do it by being more spiritual. You can do it by getting yourself in a situation where you put more tattoos and earrings in places humans don't wanna know. Whatever it takes, the fastest way Second, but this is what changed my life. This is what shaped me as a human being. Somebody's gift, I don't even know who it is. But my father always said, no one gives a shit. And all of a sudden, somebody I don't know, they're not asking for us, giving our family food, looking out for us. It made me believe this. What does it mean that strangers care? And what that made me decide is if strangers care about me and my family, I care about them. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something to make a difference. So when I was 17, I went out one day on Thanksgiving, it was my target for years, have enough money to feed two families. Most fun thing I ever did in my life, most moving. Then next year I did four, and I didn't tell anybody what I was doing. Next year, eight. I wasn't doing it for brownie points, but after eight, I thought, shit, I could use some help. So sure enough, I went out, and what did I do? I got my friends involved, and I grew companies, and I got 11 companies, and I built the foundation. Now, 18 years later, I'm proud to tell you, last year we fed two million people in 35 countries through our foundation, all during the holidays. I don't tell you that to brag, I tell you because I'm proud of human beings because they get excited to contribute once they've had. Are you driven by significance or love? We all need all six, but whatever your lead system is tilts you in a different direction. And as you move in a direction, you have a destination or destiny. The second piece is the map. Think of that as the operating system tells you how to get there. And some people's map is, I'm gonna save lives even if I die for other people. And there are firemen, somebody else says, I'm gonna kill people to do it. They're trying to meet the same needs of significance, right? They want to honor God or honor their family, but they have a different map. I say one of the parts of the map is like time. Some people's idea of a long time is 100 years. Somebody else says is three seconds. So my invitation to you is this. 
Explore your web, the web in here. The needs, the beliefs, the emotions that are controlling you for two reasons. So there's more of you to give. Yeah, achieve too. We all want to do it, but I mean give because that's what's going to fill you up. And secondly, so you can appreciate, not just understand, that's intellectual, that's mind, but appreciate what's driving other people. It's the only way our world's going to change.